up everybody it's general 315 back again another sneaker review video for y'all and today we got a ljr batch shatter backboard 1.0 from my guy trader joe's he came through he sent these over for a review real quick we got it here in front of us ready to break it down before i really get started subscribe to the channel comment down below let me know what you guys think thumbs up the video share the video all those good things make sure you guys follow me on instagram where you'll see all the latest and greatest reels posts all that stuff that i'm going to be doing and have done in the past also follow us down in the discord the discord link is in the description we have a really good community in there where the cops and all of that stuff if you guys want to figure out where we get shoes come on in there and we will help you out all right so i'm going to jump into this this is not going to be a long video it's going to be pretty short and sweet but we're going to break it down shatter backboard 1.0 resale prices i can't remember for certain but i'll put stock x and goat prices on the screen for us to see them this is a classic shoe everybody loves the shatter backboard primarily the history behind it and the leather apparently mj was playing a pickup game or something like that he had some type of orange shoe on or something like that and he shattered a basketball sneaker i think he was overseas i can't really remember the whole story right now it's a little late but anyway a lot of people go crazy over this shoe really because of the leather this is like one of the main jordan ones that had the crazy crazy leather on it the shattered backboard cow myth was like created with this shoe so we're just going to get into it real quick so shattered backboard is on the bread toe style colorway so that's the one with the color on the heel with the black around the toe box and then you have that colored toe box with the white mid panel this is really good this shoe this ljr batch is really nice ljr batch h12 batches um there's a few other batches out there but the ljr batch is really one of the main batches that i'm familiar with and a lot of my kicks are ljr batches that's just it is what it is you know what i'm saying and it's a good batch of shoes they really make high quality shoes so the ankle collar has that nice black leather around it right here you got a nice black leather it's not tumbled it's the flatter leather right there but it is soft you guys can see that right there orange leather going around the heel of the shoe and around that ankle collar wings logo looks pretty good right there it is embossed really nicely it's not crazy light on the the tumbled but it's in there it is embossed in there looks good our leather has some nice character to it i like the wrinkles here that looks pretty good to me i like how you got some character there moving down you got that orange also around the heel of the shoe you got a black nike swoosh here and then you have the mid panel which is more of a sail color not a white and you got some nice tumbled leather in there you guys can see that it looks really good it's very soft to touch it's got a lot of character to it. I do like that. Going down to the front of the shoe, we have black around the mud guard right here. And it's some more of that flat leather that's around the ankle collar. It is that soft leather. It's nice and soft. It looks good. The toe box height looks really nice. It's nice and curved. It's not too boxy. That looks good. And then the toe box itself is very, very nice. We got that nice orange shattered backboard leather right there. Look at that wrinkle. It's really, really nice tumbled leather right there. We do have a black tongue. We have the black laces right here going up the tongue. And I tend to stick with the black laces on the black tongue or the colored lace on the colored tongue. That's just my preference. But a lot of people like different colored laces. These do come with an extra set of laces. The laces are white, so they do have that. Nike Air tag right there. And we, it's cream or sail colored, and it's got the shattered backboard orange right there, and that looks pretty good. Midsole of the shoe is a nice sail color. And like I said, it is sail. It's not white. It's a sail color. It's more like a, like a cream or vanilla. That's kind of what sail color is. And it's got that nice sail right there. Outsole of the shoe, orange that shattered backboard orange very very nice that starfish color that's what they call it starfish so that looks nice we got a standard shoe tree with these joints nothing special and then on the inside of the shoe you do have that shattered backboard insole i can't take it out it is glued down but i do have some still shots for you guys to see it looks pretty cool and then um the sock ladder of the shoe is just that black mesh right there so overall very very nice shoe it's a classic, classic, classic shoe. A lot of people want this shoe. A lot of people don't have it, but they do love it. They love the history behind it. If I had to rate this shoe on a scale of one to 10 for colorway itself, 
the colorway is dope. It's not a lot of orange shoes with this starfish color that is in a traditional blocking. So I'm gonna have to give it a 9.5 out of 10 just because, I mean, it's the, it's the Shattered Backboard 1.0. So you know how it is. In terms of construction of materials, I mean, it's an LJR batch. It was put together really nice. I mean, I had to give it a 10 out of 10. LJR normally does not miss. I, I never see LJR batches miss. It's really hard for them to miss anything on a shoe or have something fudged up on it okay so i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 for construction of materials so like i said we're the cops in the discord y'all want to get down with us make sure you guys join and that's all i got for this one so i hope this was informative for you guys you guys stay up y'all stay humble y'all stay blessed and i'll see you on the next one peace